be somewhere in the room those vines. But how? Water's pouring out of the building. The sightings do it? I better check it out. <laughs> Camping here. I'll stash this away for later. Looks like there's something behind the door. So close. Oh, to drowning, maybe. Not not to the embers. M Moreland, it's over. Well, not for me, it's not. Then you're going to die alone. Because we're not sticking around to fish out the corpse. We're through. And so the visionary's fate. Hung in the balance, would he choose life or succumb to deadly delusion? <clears throat> Hello. So, there's an ancient city under the sand, but it's flooded. Suddenly, a Nora spear maiden appeared. Yeah, okay. Um, well, you're not typical Delvers. That's for sure. Someone's been through here. What's this? Uh, I, I call it a diving bubble. This is the Mark I. The Mark II was better, but uh, it got stuck halfway down. Air tube snagged. You went down in that. Yeah, I hardly expect a layperson to understand. Because that's pretty smart. Uh, I'm sorry. May I remind you, you got stuck inside and nearly drowned. It'd have to be portable, though. Mm. Machine kneecap, maybe? Well, you'd need a filter. Synthetic membrane would do it. With a hose to a compressed, compressed air, air capsule. capsule. Hammer and tongs. What is this? What is happening here? What? Get over here. She's a stranger. You got a name? Aloy. Moreland. Not a stranger anymore. You're a damn fool. Come on. I got the original schematics over here. Oh, um... Well, hold on. Just a couple of questions first. Fair enough. Partner? Partner? Don't mind him. What's so important down there that you'd risk your life? Uh, uh well... <clears throat> uh... Moreland, I'm not interested in salvage, okay? Whatever you find below is yours. Well, all right. Then what if I told you we were delving for the most spectacular treasures ever scribed by man or maid? I'd say get to the point. No nonsense. I like it. Behold, an ember. Looks like a piece of junk. Well, now, yes, but... But, but, with a proper spark, these magnificent creations of the old ones paint mesmerizing pictures in the air, and the ruins below us are full of them. A feast for the eyes beyond description. This is my old Gramps promised me. So these embers project images? Paintings of light. It's amazing stuff. This one showed the most beautiful woman you've ever seen, beckoning all to a buffet of lobster and succulent beefs. <laughs> a 
must have watched it about a hundred times as a child in my old Gramps workshop. What happened to it? Over time, they die out. I cried the day that this one's light faltered. But there are many more below, as you'll see. If you get down there like I did and my old gramps before me. How did your grandfather discover these embers? He was here 40 odd years ago. He, he was one of the first to lead a delving party into the West. He discovered the ancient city around us, plumbed the depths of this very structure. He found the hollow underneath and the glowing embers all about. Took as many as he could and brought them home. He always wanted to come back and get more, but, well, he never scraped up the shards. What he really wanted to do was use the embers to put on a show, one unlike the world has ever seen. Sounds like quite a guy. He was a true delver and a true showman, and I miss him. But I will do him proud. I will gather the embers and put on a spectacle that would have amazed even him. With your help, of course. So what exactly happened down there? It was a delve like no other. A chance to follow in my old Graham's footsteps. Beneath this structure here is an enormous hollow, a dome protected from the sands. We built this elevator here to ensure easy egress and exit. It's quite a contraption, actually, and not so easy to... Right. Again. What happened? At the bottom, we beheld the treasure my Gramps first discovered. Painted images in the air of every description. Dancing women, and games, and coins, and promises of jackpots. I don't know what that is, but it's got to be good. Then, something went wrong. The images turned nautical. Waves went through them, even fish. It's like a strange underwater dream. Poseidon's dream. Yes. Well, suddenly there was this terrible rushing sound, and then an explosion of water erupted from the floor. So water just shot up from the floor and filled the place up? It was a raging flood unlike anything I've seen. We ran like forge fire and barely made it up the elevator as a wave just crashed beneath us. Shaken, but not stirred, I, I, I built the diving bubbles Mark I and Mark II. I tried the descent in each, but I nearly drowned both times. Abbott Dunn's beside himself. He thinks I'm insane. But I can't give up now. I, I, I just, I've come too far. And the embers are just barely within my reach. Well, maybe I can help. Yeah. Maybe you can. You guys don't seem like average delvers. We're not really delvers at all. We're, we're showmen. Like performers? You're Nora, and thus unfamiliar with the arts. We stage spectacles all around the claim. Stemmer tells stories, which I augment with all manner of sounds and fireworks, and Abaddund, he, well... Complains? He handles the money, which amounts to about the same thing. When we delve, it's to find gear for my theatrics. Which makes this delve the most important one of all. How do Only if you have gills, you can stack 50 kegs in that shaft. Leave it to the Osserum to measure something in kegs. Talking liquid depths, I'd say it's apt. Apt or not, sounds too deep to hold my breath. Hence, our new invention. I'd better get after those parts. 
There's a fully intact compressed air capsule in the Mark II, but like I said, it's stuck in the shaft. If you made it back up alive, I should be able to swim down that far. All right. As for the other parts, Stemmer scouted a herd due south of here that should have what we need. I'm on it. Great. I'll come back when you get the gear. Good hunting. To Moreland, the herd should be south of here. One of the Cyclops stones. I could reconnect it with the dome back in the base if I grab its data. A rush of air. This is where Moreland said the herd would be. They must have moved on. I need to pick up their trail. Better look for tracks. There. Tracks should lead me to the herd. I can grab this from my stash later. the herd. I should have the parts I need. Could be a shotgun when does that machine. First. <coughs> oh, the storm's whipped up a sand spiral. Great. Turn this around. The sandstorms...
the machine. Check the other machines. Well, then I might have a kneecap I can use. care of the machine parts. Just gotta grab the compressed air capsule from Morland's diving bubble. get a oh, guess list of 50. <laughs> so we need at least three dozen kegs. <laughs> Brown ale, maybe. Uh, no, no. For him, scrapper's up. Are you planning a party? Budgeting for Moreland's funeral, thanks to you. I was this close. <sighs> we were going to move on. Leave all this nonsense behind, and you come along uh, and you spark your wet noodle idea. It's going to work. Uh, I've heard that before. So, uh, how does someone like you end up working for someone like Moreland? I work with Moreland. We got three equal claims in this venture. I saw one of his early shows. Back when it was... Just him and his inventions. Works of flame, lights, and shadows, all kinds of gizmos. Never seen the like. But the man is all spectacle. No sense. Bleeds shards like, like, you get the idea. Without me to handle the finances, his dreams would be sunk. More sunk. Wish we were back in the claim. Plenty of normal shows to do without the, the salvage from this blasted place. And yet, you're here, in the middle of the desert, delving for his dream. It was a good one. But sometimes, a dream has to die. This dream of Moreland's is going to get him killed. Let's say it doesn't. What happens after he gets the salvage down there? Then we put on the greatest show the world's ever seen. We'll have, we'll have special seating, a premium ale, the works. Moreland will do his, his light spectacle thing at a stemmer. We'll get their eyes a sparkling with his tails and I'll be selling tickets. <laughs> 
It's a nice thought, anyway. Morland mentioned you were showman. What? An ashram can't be anything other than a, a, a delver, tinker, or drunkard? <laughs> okay, sure, we are delvers too, but that is not our main source of income. Mostly, we go town to town, putting on shows. These shows, what are they? What happens at them? Tales and spectacle. Yeah, yeah. Moreland's got the technical know-how. Builds uh, all manner of inventions, whirly gigs of, of light and sound, cannons that, that, that shoot fire and showers of sparks and stemmer. Keeps them enthralled. Tales of adventure in the smoothest baritone. Yeah, that. And you? Me? Who do you think handles the financials for the whole blasted thing? <laughs> those two, eh, those two might have the, the sparks, but do you think they know their way around shards? <laughs> do they? No, they don't. So Moreland was down in this ancient city, and... The three of us went down below. You? I can delve, too. Right. And, uh, then what happened? What do you think? Water rushed in, we ran. And Moreland built that blasted thing. Nearly got himself drowned. Twice. He... You want the finer details of his stupidity? You go ask him. I'm always willing to engage in some commerce. I'll leave you alone. Do us a favor. Leave us all alone. What can I do for you, partner? I... Well then? The stout-hearted huntress approached. Her appearance is sudden as a spark of destiny. And the delve was at its direst. That's, uh, quite the introduction. Hmm. Maybe, uh... Maybe a little internal rhyme instead. A maiden arose from the very sands that bore our woes. Nah, too trite. What is it with you and all the uh, words? That's what I do. The stalwart storyteller gazed upon the maiden with well-earned pride in his life's work. Stemmer Wordsmith, at your service. How did you end up following Moreland out here? Bright-eyed Moreland held his dreams aloft like a burning candle. And where that light went, the hearts of men were sure to follow. So you admire him? Admiration is but a gentle fire. It's the spark, the delvers, and tinkers, and rogues alike are sure to warm to. Okay, I guess that answers something. Your friend over there doesn't like me too much. The loud one. The old bee counter has the personality of a mossy rock. <laughs> but oh, what a wicked mind for money. And a memory as long as life, or even the smallest debt. Uh, by that, he means he owes me shards. 147, to be exact. But as sharp as he was in things pecuniary, he had a dull forgetfulness for how many times a certain wordsmith saved his hoary hide. 147! 
147. What exactly does a wordsmith do? Uh, like a tinker at the forge. A wordsmith hammers out words to entrance all who hear them. The young, the old, and frequently the inebriated. I didn't take the Osram for storytellers. Uh, they say the only thing makes a cold brew go down easier is a tale of times gone by. But it's always best to hit the road before the keg runs dry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, why? Why is that? Oh, oh well, the Osram can get mighty agitated if they run out of drink, or if they don't like your story. So you're saying being a wordsmith can be dangerous? Oh, yeah. Story goes the wrong way, Osram will throw stuff at you. What, like fruit? More like chairs or grenades. But the veteran wordsmith persevered through it all, hammer in hand, ready to give as good as he got. How do you think we got here all the way from the claim anyway, past those blasted machines? It wasn't by talking. Got to go see someone about an underwater city. And lo, the Huntress went forth. Need something else, friend? I've got everything I need to build the... Uh, the incredible diving mask. I think diving mask is enough. I won't quibble. The workbench is all yours. a marvel. If it works, you'll let me try it? I want to get down there and get those embers. Assuming I don't drown. So what are you really looking for down there? It's hard to explain. Something that caused a malfunction in the apparatus that controls the old city. I think it started the flood. Well, I, I thought we started the flood. Like we sprung a trap. I don't know how we were detected. Like I said, the dancing lights around us changed, turned to sea life. There was this flash of red and the roar of water surging in. Wait, a flash of red? A, a red light from a spot near the grate on the floor where the water burst through. It was like a beacon. Or a warning. Thanks, that might help. I hope it does. And good luck down there. Okay, time to see if this thing works. So far so good. I can actually breathe down here. The diving mask seems to be holding up. I've never been able to swim this deep before. Nautical lights. I must be beside. 
friends do it. That looks like a way out. The siren's down here, somewhere. Gotta find where it's hiding. and drain all the water. I can fight that big machine on dry ground. Looks like I have to reset a couple of pump nodes first. According to the map, there should be an access point for the first node south of here. the access point. Should lead me to the pump node. I can't reach the ledge from here. Maybe there's something I can climb to get out. season in this warm water.
Give me some of my stash later. down. Better swim back up and find the access point in the second round. According to the map, the second road should be on the other side of the door. Get me to the second node. Taking care of both nodes. Now we just need to activate the emergency purge at the maintenance station. According to the map, the maintenance stations should be at the south end of the door. Be the main end station. Mm. Looks like part of this building collapsed. There might be a way in. I think I'm in the maintenance station now. I just gotta find a console to activate the emergency purge. The 
This will be my stash when I need it. out. did it! <laughs> okay. Now I can deal with the machine guarding the door on the other end of the dome. And once I get past it, I can get to what's waiting on the other side of the door. Silent. I guess the perch didn't get rid of all of the water. a break from this heat. You? Did you lower the waters? Yeah, but there's a new problem. That thing's in our way. Wow. Yeah, it's gonna be difficult to get the embers with that around. If the scrappy band of adventurers beheld the beast, they knew what they had to do. What? Are you crazy? Hush now. She saved our Delph. Okay, then. Stay up here, and start firing when I engage.
looks full, but my stash has one. Come on, gentlemen, get a move on. You guys all right? More than all right. This... you... we did it! <laughs> all the embers we could ever want, and it's all thanks to you. Very, uh, heartwarming. But maybe we can just, you know, grab what we came here for and get out before any more of those things decide to show up. Now, now, shard counter. Nothing wrong with a little reverend. Though we should probably let our flame-haired friend get going. I believe she has business down here, does she not? Right, of course. You need any help? I can handle it from here. Very well. Well, we'll start taking some of the embers upstairs. Holler if you need us. Thanks. Sidon should be somewhere beyond the store. Time to bring it home. should be hiding in some kind of processor. I need to find a console to gain access to it. There. I should be able to use that console. I'm here to bring you home, Poseidon. Elizabeth Sobek, Alpha Prime. Master Override activated. Restoring Poseidon's subordinate function to original code. Gotta bring this back to Gaia. System reboot initiated. Like taking Poseidon trigger to restart the city's power system. Ron and crew must have headed back up top. Probably embers they could carry, I bet.
An elevator. Mon must have built this before the place flooded. Nice to work. Be nice not to have to climb back up. always wanted. There's another. <laughs> His dream realized. His old Gramps legacy ensured. Our hero beheld the sea of desert lights and wept at his good fortune. When I saw the embers as a child, I never dreamed they could be like this. Thank you, Aloy. Well, did you find what you were looking for? I did. And now I have to move on. Oh. Oh. Come back when you can. I got big plans for this place. I thought you wanted to put on shows with the Embers back in the claim. Oh, no. <laughs> this is the show. Oh, can you imagine? Folks from all over the land coming to take it all in. Plus, some food and a nice place to stay. Not to mention a variety of entertainment venues. Uh, don't forget, games of chance. Plenty of shards to be had there for certain. <laughs> a new dream, huh? I, um, I hope you make it happen. Goodbye, gentlemen. This delve is a story for the ages. All thanks to you. If Moreland and crew is gonna stay, maybe I should come back and check on them later. For now, I need to get Poseidon back to Gaia. But I might want to pay a visit to that other Ostrom camp I found first. And with my new diving mask, I can swim as deep as I need to. Like at those deep water sites I found earlier. As his latest oh, adventure faded in... Gonna need a lot of shards to get this place up and Smith contemplated the next... ...chapter in his this? storied career. Offer them... Better rates? Oh. All in one pricing. Oh. Three buffet, 